right, so uh, I found a, I found a screw I had to unscrew. So <laughs> I think it'll work this time. Are you ready for me to struggle through this? Are you all ready? Here we go. Ha ha ha! You can't keep me out for long. All right, here we go. So come over here, Christina. Take a look at this machine here, and we'll talk about some things. Um, first thing to talk about is uh, behind these shrouds. These, these shrouds. I think I can pick them up. I, I did pick it up. Can I take it out? Can I can take it out. This is your Power 9 microprocessor. In this case, it's a 20 core uh, SMT4, that's four thread Power 9 processor. There's a second socket right here with the same thing. Pretty neat. Here, under these giant heat sinks, all right, the copper heat sinks are your NVIDIA Volta 100, V100 GPUs, all right? So they're, these are the 300 watt variant on the SMX2 SMX SMX2 eh, connector. Uh, each one of these particular ones has 32 gigs of memory. Uh, here, the main memory of the box here, in this particular case, 256 gigs. Although in most HPC configurations, you probably are going to do a half a half a terabyte. So that's what it's going to look like now. Um, this particular system is very. <laughs> Our, uh, or at least system architecture is very near and dear to my heart. As many of you know, I spent six years in the IBM processor design group, and the last processor I touched was Power 7, right before it was Power 7. So to see uh, see what my buddies back in uh, in Austin and Burbigan and Burlington and, and all the places we designed power at IBM uh, continue on with the next generation is, uh, is pretty exciting, and what an exciting box it is. So um, if we look over here, this is our BMC connector. This is how we're going to uh, first boot up the machine and configure it here. Uh, if folks, you folks don't are, are not familiar with BMC, well, we're going to get a little bit more familiar with it with this, these videos here. Um, other notable things, okay? Um, uh, more expansion capacity here. Uh, I'll let you read what those are in the in the red books. And anything else I want to point out? Uh, no, that's about it. Other than to say, uh, if you look in these two areas. You'll notice there is a big hole and another big hole. Well, there's a plug on these particular connectors here. These are the NVIDIA NVLink connectors uh, out to the GPUs. This is field upgradable. Even the GPUs are field upgradable. All you need to do is take those little caps off, plug in your new GPU board, and put on this heatsink, seat the heatsink correctly, screw it in, and you're good to go. And that is it. So why don't we do this? I will plop the plop the lid back on. We'll throw it in our rack up there, and we'll uh, we'll we'll get this thing turned on and start and see what uh, which how she runs. All right, sounds good. Let's go.